Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again today on my channel. My name is Chris with Kristen's Crafts and today I am bringing you day two of putting some scraps together for some page kits that we will be doing for our January Build-A-Page series. So yesterday I did put together um, 10. I think I'm gonna try and do another 10 today. And then the last 10, I'm going to use 6x6 six six paper pads because my stash of those are overflowing. And so I would like to bash some of those too. And off camera, I'll probably find the background paper and the pictures because I'm running out of time. You know, it's that holiday season. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started so I don't keep you as long today. And right now I can see right off the bat, I'm kind of liking this. It's got the blue check but it's got the blue in the flowers and I'm kind of liking that and I'm actually kind of liking the red and that was just sitting on top so I think that's going to be number one don't overthink just go with what you feel and that's the thing about going through scraps. You've already used these papers and you probably took your time and thought about, you know, that fancy layout that you wanted to do or a sketch you wanted to follow. This is the stuff that's left over. And this is when I use this stuff, I go to my basic go-to designs because I just want to get, you know, right here is a lot of money that was paid for. And so you just kind of want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth out of your paper. And so by looking here, I just saw these two and I kind of, they're both Echo Park. Um, I like both sides actually. So I could use a little bit of both. Yeah, so anyways, don't stress over, you know, the colors and everything. I want to go ahead and use this, put this yellow in if I use the other side. It's all supposed to be fun and, you know, just kind of starting the year off trying to um, get a little bit used up that's in our stash so we're not starting with a big pile. I don't mind this but it's a little bit different of colors. And actually, I kind of want to see if I have something that's in the pink. Um, now I have this pink, but this to me is different moods. So when I'm looking at stuff, yes, the colors will go, but this is more of like an animal print, wild kind of thing. And this is soft country. So to me, these two papers, although the colors go together, the mood of the papers to me don't go together. Um, my sister would probably beg to differ, but I, I do have um, some restraint when it comes to pattern, not much. Um, that's not bad, but not what I'm feeling. And again, I kind of want pink. have that one but it doesn't look quite right I have some pink on the bottom let me see what I got in here Oops. make it a mess all right this pink to me goes because now you're looking, you got the navy blue that you could use for a layer or layering pictures. You're pulling the pink out, the patterns are different. I'm this side is the blue, which makes more sense, but if I use part of this other side, then that yellow might be able to be pulled in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this as my second one. There's two. You have to bear with me. I'm making my pile of pictures behind me. So I have my work from home stuff piled in one place. I have Christmas blowing apart around me. And now I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I have a slight, slight mess going on here. But it's all fun. All right, I really like this. 
Not sure about it with the pink. I mean, it's not bad because it does match the pink in here. But let's see if we have something a little better that I can use it with. I like the wood grain. And I think there's enough in there for like a one third, two third. And then if I did use, let me see if I can find a smaller piece that I can use to kind of bridge the gap. That's too bright. The yellows go. All right, that's not bad. And again, I can pull in some washi. All right, let's go ahead and call that number three. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard the one touch rule when you're going like cleaning up paperwork and sorting things, they say you should only touch things one time and make a decision. So I'm kind of trying to follow that same concept, kind of, with this stuff. Like basically if you pick one up and you, and you find something that works, the one touch rule says use it and move on. Now this is a full sheet of paper, so I gotta put that to the side. <sighs> We're not using partial. So let's do something fun. I've got a little bit of red here and I've got dinosaurs. So let's see if we can find more dinosaur stuff. I like those together because the gray is kind of a neutral and we'll go with everything. a huge piece. I just need a smaller smaller one. And these this is more purple blue and that's more blue blue. And that's pulling in more colors and I've already got a stripe so I'm going to hold off on that one. It's not bad. I mean, you're just going with stripes. Kind of divide it up and make a layer. And if I don't want to do the dinosaurs, I have the black side or the red side. And I could, this would make a good 4th of July page. All right, I'm going to go with that. And again, don't overthink. All right, digging in. This is catching my eye. I like how bright it is. And right away, well, that helps. It probably came from the same collection because that green border strip is the same as this paper. So I like those two. And right away, I'm seeing I have foiled gold. And this has got foiled gold and green. It's a little bit more wild than I normally go. I think I need one more thing to tone it down, so maybe something blue. What do we got? Actually, I'm gonna skip the gold foil because that's really, really like a wow. But these two, 
you've got the green in here pulling in the solid green and now you have the green and the blue in here I think that would make like a fun birthday page maybe okay that's number five also keep in mind I'm scrapbooking at home for these I'm not going to crop with these so if um, I'm going through and all of a sudden I see you know that I feel like I need a piece of paper I can go in and grab you know to my stash and grab something Kind of different. Hmm. Needs like one more piece of paper. More of a solid. And it could be any of these primary colors because black will go with anything. Well, you know what? That's that blue. Oh, that's from the other side. Never mind. Oh, here we go. These colors go together. Now I'm thinking this is too much. got the pink, it's got the blue. I don't like that together. Here's a little red. There's not much, but I can get a strip or, you know, like layer it in. It's definitely going to be pieced because I, this is all chopped out. All right, we're going to go with it. See what I can come up with. That one will stress Lori out. So there's number six. <clears throat> Okay, number seven. Let's see if we can find another big chunk. You know what I had? I had a camping one on the other side. It's the green. The sky wouldn't be bad because, you know, you're outdoors. And let's see if we have, we have the yellow. So that pulls the yellow in from the campers. They're different sizes. This is smaller. These are bigger. bright. All right, that kind of matches. So this actually, if I put this to this side, I'm now making a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And then if I use like this to layer, it's toning it down. 
pictures. All right, I'm gonna go with that. Not quite sure about the yellow, but there is yellow in there. And again, if I don't like it, I don't have to use it. And I'll throw the other piece in as well. Okay, so that's number seven. Let's see, number eight. I've seen some florals at the bottom here. Okay, I really like these two together. Kind of like that. That's too brown. Need some more gray or peach or wood grain. Thinking I'm just gonna have the two. And then I can just add wood grain in. Cause I'm thinking I like these. I mean, this isn't too bad if I use a small portion of it. No. I don't like it. I don't want more florals. I've got, you know, the one is enough. And that's more pink than peach. second and then I'm giving up I mean that pink isn't bad bad with it because it is a softer tone all right, I'm gonna put these together. We'll see. All right, so that is number eight. All right, I need two more. And while I was going through there, I found this big piece of baseball. Dinosaurs. I have orange. This dinosaur and orange wouldn't be bad because there's orange dinosaurs down here. And I could use a piece from the back of one of these to bridge it. Okay, so we're going to make that number nine. For the most part, I usually scrapbook with like three pieces of paper. So I think I'm gonna be okay with some of these. And I really like these two. Must have made a double layout because I'm missing a slice, the same kind of slice from each one. And that's kind of the same teal behind. Let's see what else I've got in here. Put some big florals in. Okay. 
four. This has got this, you can't see it hardly probably, but there's a little pink line on here. So that pearl's in that pink. And then the lines on the grid are kind of a green teal, which is close to the flowers. So I think I'm gonna use these. I want that one in there. I'm gonna put this one in too, only because it's a shade dark or lighter and so that might when whenever you're looking at shades of colors if it's not quite right add a couple different papers with those shades so here you've got light a little bit darker and a little bit darker so the three together it looks intentional and then that makes it match better so I'm gonna go with that and that makes 10 so looks like that's gonna be it like I said the next 10 I'm going to use um, 6 by 6 pattern paper and it doesn't necessarily mean I won't go in here and try and grab stuff out but what I will probably do is go ahead and sort these by colors and try and throw some of these into my color drawers so that they're not sitting out on the top of my rack but they'll be available if I need to dig in there and get more papers. So again the challenge for January is to use only one full piece of paper for your background it can be any size full piece of paper so if you're making you know uh, eight and a half by eleven page you can cut down one if you need to but only one full sheet of paper for that background everything else needs to be from your scrap bin or from your smaller paper pads so for me I'm going to be scrapbooking in my 12 by 12 albums so I will have one piece of pattern paper, you know, or cardstock, whichever, in a 12 by 12 size. Everything else will be these scripts that we put together. So I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by, and we will see you again. Um, should have a couple videos coming up. I know I have a collaboration coming up on uh, the 1st, and um I've got something coming up later today as well for my December documented. And as I said in my last video that's coming up later today, I'm dog sitting. So I'm going to be having smooch time with my grand puppies. And so um, I don't know what time I'll be getting home. So I will be with them. And so not sure what will happen tomorrow hoping to get back home early enough that I can scrapbook tomorrow and then on Sunday as well to try and get a little bit ahead. So thank you so much. You guys have a great day and we'll see you later.